All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, June tenth. That's right. The kids both got out from their last day of kindergarten yesterday, and we're getting ready for our first summer vacation. Taking off down to Costa Rica on uh, Sunday morning, so that's why we got a kind of a light week next week. So today, and what I've got to sell you today, portion of our email, we're going to be promoting an event that is two weeks from tonight. That's right, folks. In just two weeks from tonight, we will have the great Bruce Nyers in for a dinner at Cafe Max. And I travel all over the world, and I eat in the finest restaurants everywhere I go, and it's always nice to come home to a meal at Cafe Max, because let me tell you, there is no better food than what Chef Oliver Saucy throws down at Cafe Max at one of our special winemaker dinners. And we've got some incredible wines. Bruce was the, uh, when I first met Bruce in the early 90s, he was working for Kermit Lynch. He was the national sales manager and is still the national sales manager for Kermit Lynch, has been for the several decades now. Uh, Kermit, one of our favorite small importers of French and now Italian wines. We just uh, did a tasting with some of Kermit's Italian wine producers. Uh, this is where Bruce developed his love of fine wines. And in 1992, with Aaron Jordan, uh, one of the top consulting winemakers in Northern California, he started a vineyard with his own, uh, a label with his own uh, name on it. And he does have, I think, a little vineyard land out there, but he buys from growers throughout Northern California, from Napa through Sonoma. Uh, and out on the coast even, and has some wonderful small production single vineyard wines. As I said before, they're made by the great Aaron Jordan, uh, still the consulting winemaker there. We have got a beautiful dinner that is going to feature uh, several wines, each paired to a course, starting out with a little Chardonnay from the Carneros District, 2008. And I know you guys have meant, I mentioned 2007 being a great vintage. The only thing wrong with 2008 is that it's following 2007. Uh, that'll be going with the pass arounds. And if you guys have been to a dinner at Cafe Max, you know that the pass arounds are a meal almost all to themselves. Ali's got four different pass arounds some little duck breast with the crostini with grapes, some molten brie phyllo triangles with an ang apple mango relish, uh, tempura shrimp, one of my favorite things that Ali does, and then uh, main lobster cream puffs. You know, as many dinners as I do at Cafe Max. I don't know that I've ever had Maine Lobster cream puffs uh, for a pass around before. So amazing how many events we do, and Ollie and the, the rest of the guys in the kitchen manage to keep it fresh and new, always turning out new and exciting things. All right, the next course, we got a little oxtail with braised mahi-mahi, a little surf and turf. You know how we do it. We like to do that. And that's with the uh, Therio Chardonnay, a single vineyard Chardonnay uh, from Bruce Nyers. Uh, this is right on the uh, Pacific, about a 1,500-foot eleva elevation, quite a bit more rich and concentrated uh, than the Carnero Chardonnay. And then we've got a little Con Ranch Merlot. We've got uh, <clears throat> some Pato Zinfandel and a little Syrah to finish things off. Check out all the offerings that are and all the courses that are going to be served with them on today's email. I'm your host, almost on vacation, Andrew Lampazone signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.